I be heard? Hello? Hello. Oh man, I gotta go check my mic. Okay. Hello. 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 Hey. 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 Okay, I think that's it. I think that's enough. should be live now doing the last two and a half minutes of sound check but I think we should be good that doesn't even matter I don't have live viewers anyway <laughs> okay I'm, I'm just listening to myself just to make sure my audio is good Sure, I'm not. I'm not coming through clearly, am I? I'm a little. Okay, I'm. I'm hoping this is good. I'm hoping this is it. Okay. So. Like I said, I haven't done anything since the last time I streamed. Same place where I was. I might have claimed some logistics. Because I started logistics at the start of... At the end of the last one. So... Right? Uh, yeah, so let's just start. Uh, I wanted to do a stream at this hour because I know roughly about now I can get batteries. So I want to be able to do that. Now you're gonna need a ton. You're going to need thousands of batteries to, to get through stuff in this game. There, there are all sorts of stuff that you need batteries for. So. Uh, I want to be able to get some batteries right now. Obviously, my battery gain rate is crap. I haven't done anything to get more um, battery gain. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Zero battery? Is this a bug? Okay, it's a little slow. I'm gonna wait this one out. Every time you, you get these hearts at the start of a day, that's like plus one, I think? Plus one affection? So that's always worth it. Are you serious? I don't have any... That doesn't count for anything. So yeah, you can decorate this area called the dorm. And the more you decorate it, you can increase the comfort. And the comfort determines your battery regen rate. Apparently, 700 comfort barely gives you anything. Oh my god, do I have tokens? Do I have tokens? I just... Ah, I want... You know what? It's just Let's just burn it. I don't... I don't even care for no no let's not use this banner let's use the cheapo banner the the non-focus banner 
I'm gonna throw it in the gacha. I just want furniture. Okay, so yeah, this is how you're gonna get your costumes. It costs tokens. And it goes through a gacha. Oh god, I hate this gacha system, but whatever. But, right, if you get the regular banner, the, the, the focus banner, the one with the new seasonals, it's 6 purple. Ah, uh, it's 10 purple. But if you get off season, you can get at 6 purple. Which, it gives you the stuff in the pool that's not seasonal, so all the old costumes and stuff. I don't really care because it's the only other place that you're going to get, uh, what do you call them? Furniture. And that's what I really want. I just want furniture. I just want some comfort level. I want to regen batteries at some reasonable rate. So let's just let's just go for it. Always do th the timestamp for the bonus one. Never do anything but. So we're just we're gonna watch it for the first time. But I want to skip this the next time. Although this this animation is so annoying. When the game started, we didn't have this animation, so I was used to not seeing this. And then like about like a year ago or so, this animation started popping up. And honestly, it's just getting on my nerves. I generally don't watch this. Huh, five stars. That's nice. Uh, probably nothing in a set though. Hey, satay. Nice. Okie dokie. Okay. Skip! Hmm, okay. So let's just let's just decorate whatever the hell we got here. So uh house. Uh, my set? Do I even have a set anything? I have some wine and refuge, I guess. I might be able to get a set bonus from that. Let me get all this new world stuff here. I'm just gonna put all the new world stuff hoping for a set bonus slightly. And then, I don't know, I guess the, uh, where is that, wine and refuge stuff. Just, just haphazardly. I'm keeping the cardboard box, I think that has a set bonus. So all the wine and refuge stuff, I'm just gonna slap on somewhere. And then, you know, if I had actual sets, I would ar totally be into arranging this stuff. I have, I have a nice set back in my original stuff, but, uh, yeah. One of my favorite um, furniture pieces actually is the that washing machine that the dolls can get into like it was a bathtub. One of my, the, the funniest little things. I have I always have that in my main dorm, the one I, I present to other people. But I don't have it here, so eh, oh well. So let's see you trip, let's just, just slap whatever. I've got room for stuff. Yay, 2950. I think you start with two dorms, so let me just slap some random stuff on this one too. Wait, let me get this heart. Okie dokie. Affection is good. So, uh, yeah, screw it. Let's just slap the random stuff on. Sort by very we'll just use the biggest stuff first. Slap that stuff right on. Just, just whatever. Right now I cannot be bothered to care too much about this. I don't have enough for sets. <laughs> Do not sell liquor to HK416. Yeah, that's a that's a running joke right there. Uh, <laughs> HK416 is, is terribly a, a bad drunk. Uh, which is kind of like a, a thing because she has this kind of relationship with M16A1. And M16A1 always has a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is probably vodka for the Russian dolls. With Jack Daniels. I have no idea what the other ones are. Anyway, yeah, just slap random stuff while we have room. I really don't care. Eh. 
whatever. <laughs> Let me slap some random stuff here. I just want the comfort levels so I can get that to the game. I don't know what I'm doing, I swear, I'm just... Right? Let's hope that works. One, two... Waiting for Commander to move furniture, oh my god. You have to do it yourself? Really? Spagin can't do it with her giant robot thingy that she does? Okay, so now we have comfort game. Uh, wait, let me take a look. Does it say? No, no, no. It says here. Uh, there we are. So... No, it doesn't say. Oh, whatever. Let's just slap more stuff on here. Let's just put whatever we got into this. How do I move the Izakai into? How do I move the Izakai into? Let me... Let me... Uh. Should be here in the middle. And then out the way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Just, just, whatever. Okay. So I should have comfort. I don't know what my battery gain rate should be, but I hope that I get more more battery soon. Whatever. That's that's fine. That'll do. That'll do. I wish I'd done that last time. But whatever. I know you gotta summon like four cards Let's see if I can do that today. Ooh, six contracts. I might be able to do that. Ooh, so right now, I guess I should just be pulling more ARs, I guess. I have a, a handful of SMGs. I should probably get up an SMG or two extra later. And technically, I will get the AR team, but right now, I just want to grab ARs. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. One and a two and a three and a one, two, one, two, three. Come on. Ooh, M3. Not bad. Uh, well, she's not good, though. But, you know, she's, she's okay. She, she'll do fine. If I had to use her. I think I missed the rate up. <laughs> oh well. Whatever. I'm not playing this like super hardcore or anything. This is supposed to be relatively slow pace. But I'm only going to play as much as I can stream. And I don't stream a lot. So, you know. I'm just using the what stock AR recipe that's in the recommended. Man, when this game launched, we did not have this recommended stuff. You had to look it up on the wiki. And their recommendations was like the minimum amount to get that you want. So they found out that you had to get like total resources over 820 or something to avoid all handguns. And then they had they found out what the minimums were to start rolling ARs. So like the AR recipe they would recommend was just enough to roll the AR but not enough to roll SMGs and rifles and too much to roll handguns. You would still get some of those other ones, but definitely it, it would give you more ARs than anything else. But then when the recommended, the official recommended recipes came out, they're a lot more generous, they're a lot bigger. And I think this is supposed to better make use of the RNG or whatever. Most people just trust them over the old recipes now. So I guess they just work. But like, say, here's a nice little voodoo recipe that 
I've been running on my main because I've been trying to get the last AR that was released and I've seen from some statistics that this is usually a good recipe for it. This one that you ARs, right? So let's go see what we get. Oh, that's not very good. This might be 320 might be a good one. No, I don't think so. I don't know. These might there, there might be a four star AR in here, but four star ARs are not good unless if you're the AR team for the most part. Like if you get like FAMAS, <laughs> FAMAS is probably like one of the joke, one of the jokiest ARs in this freaking pool. Yeah, like again, rarity does not tell you how good something is. There are some high rarity units that are crap. There's some low rarity units that are amazing. And I'll show them when I get them, if I ever get them. <laughs> oh man, anyway. Let's go see. Do I really not get any batteries? I swear. On my base um, comfort rate, I don't get batteries. That sucks. Okay, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna go and check my quests. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yay, I got something. Ooh, contract. I need that. Oh man, I'm, I'm starting out, so I'm just low on everything. Ooh, ooh, nice. Okay, let's just let's just get on with it. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we can just get started on just doing quests i think i'll do like two two missions only let's let's do a bunch today let's try it let's try to get stuff done today holy crap i did four okay that's good oh a lot of these were handholdy i think only like the last one was like they let you do it by yourself okay new one one five let's go my team sucks but you know they'll get better I can't wait to unlock skill training or rather um the thing that allows you to get the skill training data train skills are like oh right yeah we have to rescue scorpion scorpion has information on one of the other members of the ar team right so at, by the end of chapter one you only rescue scorpion you don't get any ar team members yet but scorpion's a good one scorpion's one of my favorites oh my god um i remember when i started out this game and i uh looked at all the stats and i i figured out how the stats worked and stuff so i mapped out a bunch of stuff and I, I tried to like get a comparison of like all of the smgs available at the time and then try to create a combined tankiness kind of stat based on their hp pool and their uh, evasion scorpion has a relatively low hp pool compared to the average i think or she average hp but her evasion is cut above most of them so i i, I rated her very highly and then her skill is actually really good well, until you get Vector. Scorpion has an incendiary grenade, which is one of the nice um, SMG grenade skills. Um, yeah, so incendiary grenade doesn't deal a lot of damage on its own, but it has a damage over time effect afterwards. So, yeah, between that and hand grenade, which is just standard damage, which is what Sten has, right? Uh, so that's the thing with, with SMG grenade grenadiers, is that one of the best grenadiers is Vector, who is 5 star. It's basically your basically your scorpion but better at that point then because she also has incendiary but since she's a five star she gets better multipliers on her skill which is one of the, the the nice things about rarity for the most part anyway uh but the other super great smg nader is actually sudayev tps 43 who's three star so she has a three stars multiplier on her hand grenade but because her base damage is super high compared to uh, most other smgs her nade damage is incredible so if you if we get a suit they have early I'm, I'm definitely going to train it right so let's see but if we are gonna get scorpion everyone gets scorpion and she's a great um asset she, I, I i i love to put her in the off tank um on the the eighth position on an f formation which we'll see later if i get her uh when i get her really it doesn't matter whether she's with the infantry or the enemy because she's in cover shadow so they they expect v61 to probably leak the intel Right now, we've just assumed that the Scorpion has given it away, and we're just trying to just pick up the pieces. Let's it quickly. Okay, let's take a look at our objectives. Four turns, eliminating five. Hmm. Let's go see if I can do that. 
eliminating five that's all of them i think you need two combat teams for this oh no five ignoring this then uh okay i might be able to do this with one team but i don't know but i don't have another team that's worth a damn i do not i mean maybe this maybe i'd heal this okay so you have to start on this I know I'm feeling a 5 star on AR so early. It's going to eat up my cores. Oh my god. I don't want to use this so early, but she just. I don't have many AR, so I may as well. And I do I do like her. AK I don't think I use her much in my main, though. But I, I, for what I understand, she's supposed to be really good. Because she is a Defy member. Uh, well, we'll see the, the main story of Defy members later on. Much later on, actually, sort of chapter 10, chapter 11. Singularity, really, which is like 10.5. Okay, so. I think, I don't remember what the best course of action here is. So I think I'm just going to try and capture this heliport in my first turn. So I'll start with three turns. Another way was to open with one and then spawn another, which start with three turns anyway. But I don't know, I think this might be a better move. Ooh, okay. I have four turns to kill five. I think I have plenty of time. I think I'll spawn the rifle on the home base in the next turn. Because they seem to want to attack me all the way to home base. Oh, hang on. Since I'm on emulator, I'm gonna have to configure my party. I don't think you guys can see it, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna be configuring my hotkeys. Uh, my hotkeys usually are. I like to be able to hit the withdraw button because withdrawing a, a unit, an individual unit, is super important. I just put my Q there, and then I put one button for every skill, and then I think I have a button for auto skill on off. But sometimes you have to turn auto skill off and use manual skills. Uh. Timing for certain bamboo rifle shots is important sometimes. Usually the patroller fight, some people do it on the the Ares or Punisher or whatever. No, no, not them. Uh, the Minotaurus. Because it has like a timed shield effect. So like you have to wait for the shield to go down, then you fire off all your damage skills. That sort of thing. But for the most part, you know, auto skill on usually saves you a lot. With auto skill on and no animations, basically the the skills fire off as fast as they can fire. So that's good. Because there's, there's no limitation by human input there, you know. So, ooh, I've got three moves. So that's not wasted. Let's spawn this team. Who I hope the formation's already set. Be sure to resupply. Be sure to resupply. So I'm going to move this one by one only. So I can catch either one of these two. That gives me one extra turn to move this one forward. So hopefully I can provo provoke enough enemies to get the 5 kills. Because once I've got 5 kills and it's not yet 4 turns, I should be able to get them the goal. It's not that important, but you know, might as well while we're here, you know. The silver medal, usually the gold and silver medals can't be done at the same time. Because the silver medals take up too many turns to finish. So usually I try to go like gold, bronze if I can. Anyway, these are just the first maps. So such a thing is kind of relatively easy this is not like the freaking chapter 8 onwards where we are objective sometimes are super hard or it's just it's just infeasible to, to clear an entire map because of special enemies and stuff anyway that won't be for quite a while so let's just let's just clear through these things as much as we can Oh, they're running away. Huh. Well, this makes it a little bit difficult for me. They're not running towards me. Okay, 
Okay, so at least these guys have a few levels. But again, even if they level up, your stats don't really go up except for their hit points. Because you need to enhance them. And I don't have a lot of enhance fodder, which really gets with me right now. Okay, so I need to kill two more. Um, and I have an extra turn after this. So one, two, three, four. No. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to do this. I should have enough ammo and rations, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then hopefully I can provoke some of these things to die. I, I only need to kill everyone except for one. So I should be pretty good. Okay. We should be good. Ugh. That's annoying. Okay, my hot piece should be working. Of course, MP is the one who's MVP. Look at extra XP. Hopefully at least one of these guys comes to attack me. Saves me the trouble of like doubling back or anything. Okay. That's it. Let's go test our hot keys. Turn off auto. Then... Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, these first missions, it's super easy. Like, you don't really need to have level dogs or anything. You don't even have, like, level 10 dogs or anything. It's just, they're just testing, like, you know, your ability to manipulate the map. That's all. Okay. Code of resupply didn't doesn't really matter. Only one enemy left. Let's just do this. Okay, turn all the skill back on. Let it happen. So those things are like SMGs. Those guys on the right, uh zippers. So they have evasion. A bit of hit points like SMGs, they have a little bit of damage, not a lot of accuracy. So in general, like so long as you're carrying um, assault rifles into your team, like those, those are not a threat for me. Those are almost really never a threat. Okay. And now let's move forward. Turn four. Oh yeah, okay, so swapping. That's a nice thing. If you swap, it doesn't cost uh, an action point. So one of the things that you can do with this is say, like someone's on a heliport, he can supply. This guy can supply for free by swapping. And things like swap chains are absolutely necessary later to maintain lines of supply and so on. And also so that um you can put a weaker team somewhere in a key position where he can get swapped out with a bigger team. So what he's doing is that he took a position entirely to save a, a turn for someone else. That sort of thing. There are all sorts of things that you can do swapping. Super important. Right now though, I don't think we're gonna need to use swap for a lot. We don't even need to resupply all that much. There are very few maps that have so many enemies that we need to constantly resupply our teams. Okay. So, are we finally... Perfect? Ooh, battle ship. Yay, we rescued Scorpion. Oh, do I get her now?
<laughs> Don't be silly. Can you even dream? That's a that's an Android dreams electric sheep joke, isn't there? Just a basic little thing to throw in. Oh, you think you didn't, but I think they did. I think, I think Scarecrow managed to glean some information off of your, your mind when you got hacked or whatever. And he gave her false information. That's the weird thing is that Scorpion is dressed kind of like a mob boss kind of character. Just because she's an Italian gun. But like the Scorpion was not like a mobster pumps on some machine gun thing. The Scorpion was like this kind of gun that they threw in tanks. As a last ditch weapon in case your tank ran out of ammo or fuel or whatever. Right? It's the same as having like the grease guns inside the, the M1 tanks. I think it was the M1? I don't know. I mean, one of the M1s. Sherman or whatever tank. Cut me on the hunter. Yeah! Does that mean I get uh, Scorpion? If you want revenge, I'll assign you to a new commander. That's me! Yeah! Yeah, I get Scorpion! One of my favorite three star SMGs. It will take a long time for which SMG you use to really matter. Because like, things like skill training have to happen for that. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be using team too much. So I think I should just start putting them on logistics. Just whatever, right? I should actually just be spamming um auto missions so that I can get some extra fodder, but whatever. Huh? Can I just come by here? Okay. Weird, but okay. Yes, okay. Okay. I guess. Sure. Oh, wait, it is. Oh, yeah. The, the clock struck four. Right. So I do get the new login reward. Okay. Mm, sure. Fine. What is this? Holy crap, really? This is what, what newbies get? When you when you're new and stuff? Uh oh purchase. No, that's not free. I mean, I mean whatever I guess. There, there's freebies. Oh! F and C! They they're giving you some of the best three star dolls in the game. M14? M2HB and FNC. The one of the, the best three star ARs, one of the best three star rifles, one of the best three star machine guns. Probably the best three star machine gun actually. It's probably the only three star machine gun I can consider noteworthy. I can't think of anyone else. Except possibly the other American, M1919A4. Um M2HB skill is that like she just deals bonus damage every three shots or something. Which that passive used to be like super useful because it was the one passive that would actually trigger fast enough for an MG to be able to use. Because MG fights are either like less than 5 seconds or you have to reload and when you have to reload your, your team is generally screwed. So being able to fire off maximum damage within the first 5 seconds is super important. So a skill that always works is useful, uh, an all passive skill like M2HP's. Or 1919A4s that after like I think four seconds or two seconds, um, all her hits become crits for a while. That skill, hunting impulse, hunting impulse MG, MGs also were like super popular at the time. Uh, nowadays, yeah, you still get to use them, though sometimes you actually get long game uh, moments like against Judge. So bringing either the Lewis or Negev is finally useful. God, I love Negev. Negev's character is one of, one, of, one of the funnest ones here, even if it takes forever to get to her. Alright. Ooh, I got this. I mean, I guess, sure. Bonus rewards is nice. Let's 
Let's just throw. I don't think I'll be able to finish this because I'm not going to be playing frequently enough, but whatever. Some bonus rewards is nice. Check if we have to repair anyone. Check our rosters if we can rebuild some of our teams a little better. Oh dear. Oh, two minutes of the longest. Okay, that's good. Oh dear, they all got cold. Bonuses! Yeah, Scorpion! Did we get her intro? Yes! Scorpion! Okie Definitely using her scorpion. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely using scorpion. Scorpion, they all. I'm gonna put her in front so she gets slightly more experience. The, the first slot is the, the leader slot, and that slot gets extra experience. Um, in a party, two units get extra experience, both the leader and the MVP. If the leader turns out to be the MVP, uh, the, that one unit gets both bonuses. The MVP is just basically the, the doll that dealt the most damage, so you can open up the damage table on the right, and you can see generally who that ends up being. Okay, so I've got some space to fill here. Just, just fill it, that's good stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing right now, but whatever, right? Let's just fill it up, so we can use it. We'll throw it into an auto battle, and that's it. Uh, I think this should produce some dolls. I think 1-2 is fine. I usually like auto like um, emergency one one I think, but I think this is the equivalent. Let's just see. Let's just see a ten minute run, and there we go. Spectra M4 got here, wa? Gansha shinasai. Please tell me you're done. Okay. Let's go. So you can leave um, one auto running while also doing one manual. But you can't do more than that. You cannot leave a manual running and then also start um, a simulation or something. You cannot have an auto running and then another auto running while the first one is still running. There are all sorts of uh, limitations here, but you know, it just just makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Oh crap! Op Operation of Fruit is it? This is the fight against Scarecrow. I don't know if, if my 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 main team is strong enough for this actually, especially because I just swapped someone in. I don't know. I don't remember if Scarecrow was tough. Potentially, she'll be able to deal some damage to me. I just I just hope that just by having an AR team, I should be fine. Hopefully. The final stage of operation. So we, we're gonna box in Scarecrow and try to get information out of her about what she knows and also um, a means to find the AR team. Scarecrow looks surprisingly like um, who's the one in our team? PA15, I believe? And also, of course, Calico. She knows the details and objective behind recent San Andreas raids. Our objective is to capture her alive, extract her memory. 
an advanced sea doll. Alright. I mean, she is, but at the same time, like. So, one of the first things about this map, if you notice, is that it's got this long path here before it gets anywhere. So, in general, if I remember this right, I used to do this map a lot. You have to have two teams, at least. Two good teams. But since this is just the normal map, not like emergency or anything, just any two teams I think will do. So, let's go. Let's throw in Scorpion. Let's try to get them some levels ahead of time so Scorpion's hit point will at least increase before we go off against Scarecrow. Yeah, Scarecrow should be super easy to kill. Execution, on the other hand, I think you needed to actually have a properly built team against her. Not like super powerful or anything, but just, you know, properly built up. You have to know what you're doing, basically. But I think against Scarecrow, you can just wail on her. Just, just, let's just see what happens. Mm, I don't know what I want to do. I think I should use standard support Ecleon. And then have it follow me. So I can kind of capture a little better. I think that's what I should do here. I know that the, the, the strategy is perhaps a little complicated to get the S. Yeah, so I just summoned a, a, a bonus AI unit. Uh, they don't count towards your kill count, so if you're gonna gold medal, that, that's not a good idea. But the fact that they can like just move around and do stuff, uh, kinda useful. Again, they're, they're great for like swapping around and stuff. And this one, I'm just going to have it set to eliminate just so it will follow me, Larry. Ah. And then kind of just like help me capture stuff just in case I need to do a double capture because like deep into enemy territory or anything. So let's just auto this towards the next one. The good thing about summoning a um, a friend deck layout instead of a regular deck layout is that it doesn't cost a turn to summon. So that's generally why you would use friend deck layouts in the place like this. To keep as many moves as you can get. really kind of boring just because of how early game is always the intrigue of the story is what carried me over this part here but i already know most of this and this is quite so interesting just yet i think by about chapter four the story gets kind of interesting and like worth looking back at to just look at the details okay so i think what i should do is take my extra turn and then capture this so I can spawn a friend and put it here, and then we will kind of, kind of, pincer our way towards Scarecrow. Uh, we need how many to kill? Eliminating six in five turns. Okay, so let's try that. Take that! Take that! Oh, let's go! All right. Holy crap, AK-15. Okay. Now... Not much to do here. So let's just. Well, if it attacks me, it doesn't attack me, it doesn't matter. I just have to resupply the next turn anyway. <laughs> okay, Scarecrow is moving up. So we might just stay in place and I just wait for her to kind of just come into us. Let's 
次の命令をくださいそう。Just to get all the extra kills in. And then beat the boss. And then cap on the last turn. I think I'm good. Everyone's good for resources. I think we're gonna do good. Oh man, those scouts. They, they used to look so scary because they have actual evasion. They have more evasion than the Rippers, but like no hit points much. But they were so annoying because their evasion is so high. So it's like a test if you have. Proper rifles or assault rifles with good a c t Okay, that was easy. Come on. Oh man, I'm spacing out. Holy crap, I'm falling asleep. That's not good. This is not good. Holy crap, maybe I should just cut this short. No, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna at least finish this. Man, so much for a stream today. <laughs> maybe I'll do another one later. I just wanted to do it at this hour. So I could get the, the,、uh, the batteries, because I didn't get any anyway. Maybe I'll do a stream tomorrow morning with the batteries. I think it's like a 9 a.m. Philippine time tomorrow, I think is the next battery collection. Let's see. Nimu k a n r i o 休む暇などありません。次の命令をください。Okay, so everything's going fine. I can't wait till the scarecrow fight. I want to see if scarecrow is powerful or not. I don't remember. Like, the, the battle power number is there, and it says it's not that high. 
but that battle power tends to lie. It does not give you a lot of useful information. Like the last time like the battle power has been useful is like if you see like one million, it's like okay, yeah, you're not supposed to fight it. But other than that, in general the battle power number doesn't been very useful. Seriously, you're running away? I think I can do this. I think I've, I think I have enough to do this. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, I should have enough, and then might as well let's move that in, and then auto end. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want to see if Scarecrow is scary. I think she's not. Oddly enough. Uh, by the time you get her as a unit, because you can get these Sanguis Fairy units as playable units now. Scarecrow is just really cool. Scarecrow is just freaking amazing. Like those fin funnel slash bit things she has. They are amazing, I love them. They're not even great for combat. Scarecrow's not even like a combat leader. She's a scout leader, but still, right? She's just so cool. What the hell? I got the rare drop? Oh, she's not that great though. But whatever, I'll keep her. But hey, that's the that's the rare drop. I think that's because I got uh, an S rank. So I got a roll and then I rolled right. Right? Um, so if you finish this map as an S rank, you have a chance to get the best drop of the map in the drop table. But if you also S rank bosses and other units that have the drop as mark, then you can also get the best. Let, let, let me check the, the drop table. Um, it'll show there that um, block 17 is the special drop here. Because she's the unique drop here. Because like every chapter end has a unique drop. And block 17 is our turn of this chapter 1's unique drop at the end. So, um, chapter 1, 6. Chapter 1, uh, emergency 1, 4. The end of emergency 1. Both of those are going to drop block 17. Let me just take a look. Let me just check that one out. Let's see what it says. Right? So combat summary. Oh, yes. How how the first one? Combat summary. Reward. See, limited drop. That means that it's not usually in other maps. It's only really on this map and like one other. And then yeah, check mark. I got her. The Glock 17 was the limited drop of chapter one. Oh, that's cool. That's 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 nice and lucky. Even if it doesn't really mean because block 17 is not that useful. But whatever, I have her. That's cool. That's great. And again, handguns aren't going to be useful for a really long time. But whatever. Collection purposes. There you go. Scarecrow got beat. Her base got taken. And we didn't actually have to fight Scarecrow. I think we could have just won without fighting Scarecrow. Immobilize and capture her. The operation ends as final step. Helen, of course, is not on site because Scarecrow will just shoot her dead. Right? Like, the humans are never on site because, right, we're always like via control terminals and stuff because if we were in position, those dogs would just murder us. IDW, huh? Um, it's a scorpion. Can't tell who that is. Is that Papa Shaw? I can't tell. I don't even have IDW yet, actually. Like, IDW is like the most famous drop because every time you want to get a grizzly, you see that one ten timer. It's actually IDW, Danya! But I don't even have IDW yet. Seems impossible. Scorpion has been rescued. The information she gave you was false. No, that's not what Scorpion got. They cracked the code. The false information was just a scrambled version of the real code. There you go. They throw in some random data on top of the truth and shuffle the sequence. Ooh. Three different sets of false intel to find the common factor to the real answer. In a sense, it's kind of, it's kind of like an analog to the, the thing that humans would do. But at the same time, that's also kind of like feasible in the computer sense. 
like there are no encryption methods that shitty anymore but if you can think of a weak encryption mo method i'm pretty sure that's how it would work right like you would be able to guess it in three tries using um a known in uh, unknown in unknown out i'm not sure anymore how that works but it's a, it's a kind of tax pattern for for crypto How did you know? How did you, how did she know? She's also a doll. She might not have been made by the same people, but she could have guessed. I'm not a tool that bows under human will. Man, Zangmi's fairy is just so weirdly anti-human. Man, the, the mastermind of Zangmi's fairy has such a hate bone against humans. Daring to show you stuff on the hologram. Of course! She'd get killed otherwise. Did she rig herself to blow? 8354 Oh shit! She has enough? I thought she needed three sets. I guess I guess she found two others. Cool. Okay, stop her stop her from transmitting. Oh shit, too late. Executioner. Her name is so much cooler than Scarecrow and she she is the difficulty spike, if I remember. I remember losing my team to Executioner. Holy crap. That was the first time I had to like worry about the, the power of my team. Man. I might be able to beat her quickly, quicker this time now though. If I use the right methods. Or if I just like soften her up with like a friend like Leon or something. Ah, there you go. She's rigged. She's rigged to blow. Oh, and for A1. Man, that's a little creepy. Man, they were trying to make these these first um Sanctus or Inglisa sound so menacing. But like once you get to like like the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth chapters, it's like, man, these guys the, the initial guys are kinda suck. I don't know they're like super weak or anything, but it's like those are actually like the lowest level commanders. It's like, mm, they even make fun of that by the time you get to the first event in Operation Cube. Like the 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 more modern new Sangvis commander treats the, the other commanders like dirt. But what she doesn't understand is that those other commanders, as much as they were technically weaker than her, uh, they work well together. And so through the cooperation of the bad guys, which they weren't even trying to. Uh, what do you call this? They weren't trying to plot against their their fellow Sangvis. It was just that's just how it turned out to be that they were forced to make a choice between saving um, a one of themselves that they considered a friend and the other one who was considered more tactically useful, and they they chose the friend. And that tells you that Sangvis isn't really so freaking evil and like Terminator robot. It's just they just happen to hate humans. They're they're not they're not like cold and unfeeling. They're actually incredibly emotional at certain points they're they're incredibly human and it's not something that they deny they're not saying that they're better than humans they just hate humans they're just the enemy it's just you know the germans and the french in world war whichever world war you choose really right that's just they, they just happen to choose their battle lines it's not like they they ideologically think that humans have to be wiped out they just hate humans and they don't ideologically think that they themselves are like superior or perfect or anything. They just, you know, they're just ca trying to live out their robot lives just like everyone else. And Scarecrow is no different. Um, Scarecrow, Executioner, and Hunter, I think. Or maybe even the first four. Scare, Executioner, Hunter, and Intruder. I think they're all like friends because they're all the frontline commanders. But I've already been dummy linking, so I already know how to do this. Weird for this to show up right now. I'll do that later. 
cool. Whatever, another tutorial, but I don't care anymore. I'm I'm tired. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it in early. Okay. Galil, do I have a spare Galil? I don't have a spare Galil. It's just one core. You know what? I'll I'll, I'll burn it. And then I'm actually going to burn my extra stand. Like I know she has some levels, but um she's more worth it to me as a merge father. So I'm just gonna use it to merge stand. The nice thing about dummy linking, or not so nice thing, is that it automatically gives you full um resources, ammo and rations. Just just to make ease of calculation also it maxes your health. So if you need to repair, you don't if you are about to merge. There you go. She has double HP now basically because there's not two of her. Um dummies do not deal full damage. Dummies deal up um an amount of damage that uh does not account for modifiers. I think that's how it works. So it's like if you're buffed, only the main unit is buffed. Um, if you're equipping like uh, special ammo, only your main unit gets special ammo bonus damage. And only your main unit, barring certain skills, will fire up a skill. So Stan has a skill that fires a hand grenade. She only fires one hand grenade. She doesn't throw like two hand grenades for two links or five for five. So yeah, so it's not like you doubled her battle power. You've increased her battle power significantly. Her hit point pool is basically double now. And she basically has now two sources of attacks. But it doesn't really double her DPS. Not necessarily. Not exactly. Let me... No, Scorpion actually. She just started, so I'm gonna, I need her to get some some enhancement. Yeah, I don't think these are gonna be all that important, so. Yeah, I'll just throw it. Okay, good. Opening now because of that. I'm just just slip in. It's not that important. It's just a placeholder right now. Accuracy evasion. Not all that great. I don't know. I guess I don't really care. Okay. So now I have chapter 2. That means I have logistics chapter 2 as well. Yay! So first thing I'm gonna do is... Since this is my last triple medal, I'm just gonna do this again. I'm gonna do it three times. And I guess I'm gonna do it with my main team basically. Or actually my side. You know what my side team is probably gonna need it. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, why do I need to put Glockler? I think I have a spare SMG. I might have a spare SMG somewhere here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, this I'm going to level for M14 sake. Again, M14 is only worth leveling. So to be able to auto battle you need a triple medal. And this is like the last one that I triple medal, so
Okay. Okay. And then the rest of you guys just do missions for... Well, since I'm not coming back to this for quite some time, let's just do the... Ooh, okay. What do I need here? Oh, 15 plus, okay. 10 plus. 8 plus. Okay. I think I can do this one, actually. I just need to shuffle. There we go. Now I've got 10 plus. Okay. Eh, yeah, whatever. Mark 2. Let's Oh, six plus, really? Okay, fine. Just do whatever. Okay, so everyone's doing something. I'm just tired. I'm gonna cut this one short. Sorry, guys. I need to just clean up and stuff. She's not that great, but hey, it's an extra AR. That's a good one. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, that's great. I got an extra. おはようございます。しきかさま。やっと彼の話。しきかさま。私お腹が空いちゃいました。ね、あんそうのエルシュとかリリキャンプ Oh my god, okay. That's it? That's it, I'm out. Bye, y'all.